Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on how we like to fill. Um, this is a PowerPoint hole, but any decent size hole, there is a nice, quick, effective way uh, to go about filling them up. I'll just give you a bit of a rundown. First off, this is a plaster or chip rock knife. I've got the two edge knife, Stanley, Stanley blade piece of jet rock. You can pick up a piece like this um, from Bunnings or any hardware store pretty much for you know five to ten dollars and as you can see I've pretty much gone through and I've cut out any um, areas that I need and then I can mold it to the size of the hole you see here. and then we Make a nice firm fit. We cut it out. Make a nice firm fit. Put it in. We don't need. We don't need to go putting anything behind it. Uh, as long as it's wedged in nice and tight. And we mix up a base coat. Right here, what we're using. We're using. This is just a base coat mix, just with water. Obviously, the more that you mix it, the quicker it's going to go off. So if you just put a bit of water in there, mix it only, you know, um, only a little bit. It will tend to stay wet for a couple of hours base coat can all depends on how you want to mix it it depends on how quick and fast it's going to set so what we have here like i said so a lot of the time it's not cut perfectly square so it does make it a lot harder to try to mold out a piece so what i always like to do make sure you check for any cables or anything behind here because you don't want to go sawing through and electrocuting yourself so that's probably the most important thing. Make sure there's nothing behind there. And then what you do, you can just cut out a nice square piece like this, as, as you can see like that. And then what I always like to do also, we always just go around and just bang in these, just bang in these edges, because you don't want a lip. So when you're filling, you're gonna have a nice flush end result so really if i wanted to i could just cut this out put this in here mix up the base plaster at once and really that would be fine after you give it a sand if you just overfill a little bit all you'll need is one base coat but we always go through sand it again give it a quick skim coat and then that's the end result so one base coat one skim coat and you that should all really you need Oh, we just grab our chip rock knife. You can measure it or mark it out first. Or you can just cut a section out like this. Just guess and then just put it in and then you can sort of work out what you need to do. So that's what I use the, the other blade for because we can just go through. Careful of your hands obviously. You don't want to go cut my fingers off. But then you can just sort of break it away to a point where you just got to slowly keep just keep carving away at it until we've got the base coat here. So I made this base coat up probably about. 40 minutes ago or something like that and it's still completely completely um usable i'm gonna go straight over like that probably best take off the power point but that's that's it so really it's a quick simple easy effective process for filling up powerpoint holes or you know decent size uh, holes in your walls so that's it for us hope you found this useful nice quick and effective way to fill chip rock or plasterboard holes in your walls stanley knife Jip rock knife and a piece of jip rock. 
some base coat powder that's all you need you can pretty much um you know once you get used to it you can pretty much go through and it's not even going to take you five minutes each each hole to do like i said give it a light sand skim coat it or a top coat another sand prime it and then your two coats over that and you'll never know that it was even there thanks for tuning in and always staying up up to date to everything that the pbj family do we appreciate you always watching